Claim more, claim more, claim more. The M18A1 Claymore is a highly popular and widely used anti-personnel mine that has proven to be a valuable asset in military operations. This powerful weapon raises the question, how does it work and who invented it? With its distinctive design and devastating impact, the Claymore has become an iconic symbol of modern warfare. Developed to effectively combat enemy personnel, this Mini offers unparalleled protection for troops on the battlefield. But who was responsible for creating such a formidable weapon? Let's delve into the historical context and explore the birth of the M18A1 Claymore, shedding light on its inventor and understanding its significance in military technology. The need for effective anti-personnel mines during times of war cannot be overstated. Throughout history, military strategists have recognized the importance of developing mines that can effectively neutralize enemy personnel and provide a tactical advantage on the battlefield. During World War II, advancements in technology led to the development of various types of anti-personnel mines. These included pressure-activated and proximity-detonating mines, which were designed to inflict maximum casualties on enemy troops. However, it was during the Vietnam War that the M18A1 Claymore mine emerged as a game-changer in terms of effectiveness and efficiency. The conflict's dense jungles presented unique challenges for conventional warfare tactics, demanding innovative solutions. The M18 Darwin Claymore was specifically designed to address these challenges. Its development stemmed from a need for an easily deployable mini capable of inflicting heavy casualties on enemy forces while minimizing risks to friendly troops. By understanding the historical context surrounding the development of anti-personnel mines like the M18A1 Claymore, we gain insight into their significance in modern warfare. These weapons not only changed the dynamics of military strategy, but also contributed to reducing overall casualties by providing defensive capabilities with minimal risk exposure. As we delve further into our exploration of how this remarkable weapon works and who invented it, we will uncover fascinating details about its design and operational mechanisms. Let us now turn our attention to Norman McLeod the brilliant mind behind this groundbreaking invention. Norman MacLeod was a renowned figure in military technology and played a vital role in the development process of this groundbreaking weapon. With his extensive expertise, MacLeod recognized the need for an effective and efficient anti-personnel mine during times of war. He understood that such a device could significantly impact military strategies by providing defensive capabilities against enemy personnel. McLeod's background in military technology paved the way for him to embark on designing the M18A1 Claymore. Through meticulous research and testing, he carefully developed a mine that would revolutionize warfare tactics. The creation of the M18A1 Claymore involved rigorous engineering processes and thorough experimentation. McLeod focused on crafting a compact yet powerful weapon capable of inflicting substantial damage to enemy forces while ensuring utmost safety for friendly troops. After overcoming numerous challenges and refining his design, McLeod successfully produced the final version of the M18A1 Claymore a remarkable achievement in military innovation. By inventing this unique anti-personnel mine, McLeod made significant contributions to military technology. His invention not only met, but exceeded expectations, ultimately reshaping combat strategies around the world. The M18A1 Claymore is easily recognizable by its distinctive shape and dimensions. It consists of a rectangular steel casing measuring approximately 8 inches long, 3.5 inches wide, and 1.375 inches thick. This compact size allows for easy transport and deployment in various combat situations. Inside the shell lies a lethal combination of components that work seamlessly to maximize the weapon's effectiveness. 
At the heart of the Claymore is C4 Explosive, a highly stable plastic explosive known for its power and reliability. The C4 is carefully packed into the steel casing to ensure controlled detonation upon activation. One unique feature of the Claymore is its curved surface, which helps direct the explosion towards a specific target area while minimizing collateral damage to nearby surroundings. This directional fragmentation design ensures that most of the blast force travels forward in an arc-shaped pattern. Upon detonation, hundreds of small steel balls are propelled outward at high velocities, creating a deadly cone-shaped pattern known as fragmentation effect. These fragments act as lethal projectiles capable of inflicting severe injuries on personnel within range. To control the directionality of this lethal spray, each Claymore mine also features aiming stakes or sights that aid in positioning it accurately towards enemy forces or points of anticipated threat. Overall, every element incorporated into the design and components serves a vital purpose. From ensuring portability and ease of use for soldiers on foot, to delivering maximum damage with minimal risk to friendly forces nearby. The M18A1 Claymore is equipped with a reliable and efficient triggering mechanism that ensures its effective deployment as an anti-personnel mine. The functioning of the electric detonator and firing system is key to its operation. When it comes to triggering the Claymore, there are different options available to the operator. One method involves manual control, where the operator directly initiates detonation using a switch or lever. This gives them immediate control over when and where the Claymore explodes. Another option is remote activation. In this scenario, the Claymore can be triggered from a safe distance using a remote device such as a radio transmitter or a command wire system. This enables operators to maintain greater flexibility and security during detonation, especially in situations where they need to remain concealed or out of harm's way. Safety is paramount when handling explosives, and this holds true for operating the M18A1 Claymore as well. To ensure safe distances during detonation, operators must follow established protocols and guidelines. These include positioning themselves at designated locations, away from potential harm caused by fragmentation or enemy countermeasures, triggered by their own explosives. The M18A1 Claymore has had a significant impact on military tactics and warfare since its introduction. Its unique design and effectiveness as an anti-personnel mine have made it a crucial tool for military forces around the world. One of the key aspects of the Claymore's influence is its continued use in modern conflicts. Despite being developed during the Vietnam War era, this weapon has proven to be highly relevant even in contemporary battlefields. Its simplicity, portability, and devastating effect make it a preferred choice for many armed forces operating in various regions. Over time, there have been several adaptations and modifications made to enhance the functionality of the original design. These updates aim to improve safety features, increase operational efficiency, or address specific tactical requirements. Some advancements include developments in trigger mechanisms, such as wireless remote detonation options or integrating advanced sensors for better target identification. These adaptations reflect efforts by military engineers to optimize the Claymore's performance while keeping up with evolving combat scenarios. By recognizing potential limitations and addressing them through innovative modifications, these advancements ensure that the M18A1 Claymore remains a reliable asset for ground troops across different mission profiles. In conclusion, it is evident that the M18A1 Claymore holds a prominent place in military history due to its significant influence on tactics and warfare. Its continued utilization in modern conflicts showcases its enduring relevance as one of the most effective anti-personnel weapons available. With ongoing modifications further enhancing its capabilities, this iconic mine continues to play a vital role on today's battlefields.
Thank you for considering joining our community. Your support means the world to us, and we look forward to sharing this exciting journey with you. Together, we can continue to create, learn, and grow. Kindly subscribe, like, and share.